where do I find the hints? Hello, hello. Welcome to live and members of God. Okay. Comments. Where's the comments? Top chat, live chat. Got it. Okay. What's this? Hello! Hey, it's working! Hey, hello! Hello! Right, the kettle's just brewed. Um, oh, how are you, my love? Hi, Dark Timer. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Hello. I was wondering if I'd see you. Hello. Um, I don't know how the signal is going on here or anything, but we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Um, do you have a cup of tea, girls? Hopefully so. I'm just brewing mine. I just had the girls round and um, we just had cakes and sandwiches and things. So I broke out my lovely sandwich tray that I got from the charity shop. Gee! Gosh, it's so disorganised. So disorganised. A clean cup. So, too hot here in Iowa to knit on my holiday sweater. Oh, Nancy! Oh! Um, you could always knit a pair of knickers, dear. <laughs> a lovely two-ply pair of knickers. <laughs> Lovely cotton hair, nice silk. Uh, da, 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 da. What are you knitting anyway? What's your pattern? Are you going for fair isle, cable, plain? Oh, El Grey tea, lovely, lovely. Uh, right, gosh. So as you can see, we're on the fly here, chaps. They're fantastic that it's working. Brilliant. Oh, did I show you my cup? This is what um, Leslie made me. I should put Rebecca. You see, I, I use it, Leslie. I use it. Thank you. Right then, so it's the end of the month. I've been I've just been trying to work out my fuel units for the first month um, this is my milk job I find if this sort of size is just about the size for your daily milk ration so um, that makes it easy for me to eke out my milk if I know I've got this when it's empty it's gone I think I've got one more left in there and then that's it. No more tea till tomorrow. Right then, so, I'll warn you now folks, the head's not fabulous today. Oh, I can see more. Oh, great, da, da, da. Festive yolk, cardi with skeined ear. Oh, okay. All over colour work in double knit. Oh, very nice. Hi Robin, hello, how are you? Um, yes, gotta have a cuppa for a nap. Well, of course dear, of course. <laughs> evening, evening Binksy, evening. Um, right, so, oh gosh, so I was trying to work out this fuel allowance. And um, I've come to the conclusion, you just have to times everything by three. Now, this rather clever chap or chapette um, on the fuel unit video, Wild Thing 6688313 um, mentioned that back in the day it was imperial measurements, whereas now we use metric. So I've just had to get it into my little mind that um, basically you get just over three feet into one meter so if they are I, I have to do it like pictorial you know if they are measuring your energy in sort of a meter square then you get three feet and a little bit in that so if you times it by you get three of those so if you times it by three then you've got your fuel allowance meter readings for back in the day for yesteryear so 
just been on my utility and I have used for this month 78 kilowatts of electric times by three comes in at 234 34 kilowatts and then I have used 989 I'm rounding it to 90 um, kilowatts of gas so you times that by three that comes in at 267 I'm going to bring it down a little <laughs> and that's uh, so we're going to call that 250 so with that being said we pick up our make do and mend we go to our fuel leaflet thing to calculate our fuel units so 500 cubic feet of gas is one fuel unit but I've only used 250 so we're calling that half a fuel unit for the month and 50 units kilowatts of electricity equals one fuel unit I have used what did I say again times it by three uh, two three four so we're looking at about four and a half units so all in total I've used five units for the month and uh, I don't think that's bad if that's a general baseline of what to expect then five times 12 months would be 60 units and then if you I've got 115 so I've still got for all my winter fuel which is amazing blimey that was hard going that was a hard opening that was hardcore opening for us wasn't it all these numbers blimey whoo um, and the most beautiful aesthetics in the world, of course. <laughs> no, uh, Rebecca doesn't have a studio. <laughs> Rebecca's rolling with it. Um, yeah, so, God, numbers at eight o'clock at night, blimey. Hello, whatever time of the day you are. <laughs> good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Um, in regards to the, uh, actually, you know, you're doing it by the template. So you've got, here we are, let's just flip to the back. You know this thing that I, sh that I put up? Here we are. How much does it use as a general sort of idea? So I did my template, didn't I? That's not gone too bad, but straight off the bat, I knew that there were flaws because I did. I completely forget, forgot to factor in warming up the washing up liquid, the wash, washing up water straight away you can un you can see how some of the tips in this book um they really did you know they really did come in handy so it's things like um try and have at least one meal a day made of cold because then you're not putting the oven or the hob on um put your washing up water in the oven after you've taken out the main meal because then it's warming up and it's using that residual energy to turn your your oven or whatever off 15 minutes before you want to serve it um all those sorts of things so yeah you can see why it's you know it's they really were up against it they really were poor buggers you know yeah i think i my baths i have so far been okay with the baths I've just had one of our Saturday night scrub up for you guys. You know, <laughs> you didn't want to say, I was like, oh gosh, all hot and bothered from earlier on. Oh, we've been, me and the girls have been out in the garden and we've um, just been chilling and kicking back in the garden and it's been a lovely afternoon. Um, they bought, they, oh, I'm live, it says you're live. Okay. Uh, yeah, mummy's been very busy packing boxes, so. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long now, so I'm going to give her those tomorrow. Yeah, but, so that's that, that's that to talk about. Um, whew, I think while we let this cool, shall we go out into the garden? And let's have a look. You do do do. Yes, Renata, of course, evening. 
Mars late on Saturday is not a good idea. No. So, but one tries. Um, 98 Fahrenheit here. Blimey. Right. So, I've done my one towel wash of the day of the month. Um, I've got lots of sort of courgette. These courgettes. I've never tried these. They're starting to produce like crazy. I'm starting to get beans on my beans. So these are. If you can see the leaves in the way. Oh no! Horrible light. I do apologise. Um, yesterday I've been digging up spuddies. So that's that done. The fig tree is absolute, like the fig bushes, they're absolutely loaded with figs. But um, whether they'll ripen and get there, I don't know. Uh, whew, gosh, the plum tree, it's about to drop its plums. I can see one or two, but you know, it's a rather old, rather old plum tree, so grateful for anything. And then down here is just the wilderness. Oh my god. Oh my goody lord. But yeah, so it's kind of gone to rack and ruin really once again. But I've got some loads of flowers on, on Jeff's runner beans. Plenty of runner beans on the go. So and plenty of apples on the apple tree. But yeah, it's still an absolute mess. Oh hey Pidgey Pidgey. Hey. That's the nice. That's the nice pigeon. From um, it's had its supper. Oh, so that's the update on the garden. I thought I'd do it this way because I chat to the camera and then I sort of edit it and upload it or just upload it. But I thought it's nice to see um, we can ha actually have a conversation. So it's great. Is your mum moving? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's buying my house. And I'll show you, um, I've had to condense my home into um, sort of half a house. So this room has been emptied. We've started moving stuff in. But yes, an empty room for her. So that's been rather fun, whacking a sofa bed to pieces, trying to get rid of that. And I've moved in all of my stuff. This is my Sanctum Sanctorum, um, which is this room. Let me put the light on. Does that make any difference? Oh yes, of course it does. There we are. So I've got the and then I found a place that is much better than cardboard boxes for all my yarns. So there we are. But yes, so this is my room. Ah, oh. oh dear let's have a sit down gosh that was an energetic start the video isn't it i don't think we'll ever do that again oh god lordy oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. so yeah so it's been busy it's been busy moving boxes and things around for mum so yeah um like i said my mind is just oh, gosh it's one of those things where I actually I'd known I was going to be this bad, I, I would have, well, it would have been an edit job, but there we go. So what I am working on is this bed jacket that you may recognise. And um, I'm actually doing really quite well with it. I'll put it on for you. I've safety pinned it together. Uh, where are we at? Woof, nearly dropped it in my tea. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. But let's put you up so you can see. Oh, nearly dropped you. Is that going to work? 
Are you still looking for a cottage? Yes, I am. Um, there's a farm that's come up that was, I think, was sold, but it's fallen through. So, you know, there's... Um, We'll, we'll, we'll keep looking, we'll keep looking, but there's something else in the works as well that I'm rather excited about, and I'm going to take the opportunity to do it while I can. So, but, but um, more on that maybe later. But for now, um, here is my, can you see it? There we are. So the amount of times I've had to rip back this cardigan is um oh, is is more than I would like, but but um yeah, I think it's come on really really well. But I have made a mistake in it again. And, um, again or as a sort of quirky design feature. I don't know, <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, so yeah, I'm really enjoying knitting this. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's really, it's a combo of just some threads that I've got sitting around and yeah, I think it'll go, it'll, it's, it's a good throw over. And I think this design is um, good for, it's good for any, any body shape, whether you're apple, pear, hourglass, athletic, inverted, I think it's, it'd be flattering on anybody. And I think what I'll do is I'll um, take pictures of it and put it on the community feed for anyone who'd like to have a go at knitting it. I highly recommend. If you're not used to knitting lace, then I would say knit undistracted and get your head around the, um, get, get your head around the repeat patterns first. But other than that, once you get going, it's a lovely, lovely um, one to do. So, yeah, and I think it will flatter anybody, really. And it's the kind of thing that you, you can wear it out and about, just throw it over your shoulders, throw it over a night, you know, if you've got a nice dress or something on, you know, or it's just a, as a casual throw on, I think it will work, work really well. So, but yeah, but it is susceptible, I think, with all the yarn overs and everything. Um, yeah, I've had to rip back quite a bit, so, yeah, uh, da, 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 da. that's that. Now, I said that, you know, there was a, I said, oh, you know, what year would you live in if you could live in one year over and over? So your life moves on as normal, but um, the actual world around you sort of kind of stays the same, and I think... Uh, I think mine would be 1969, um, just because I enjoy the TV shows from then. Um, my favourite TV show is Randall and Hot Kirk, and that was 1969. But you've got lots of really, really good TV shows from there. You've got Dad's Army, Bewitched, Adam's Family, like all of these TV shows um, were in existence by 1969. So you just think, oh yeah, how cool would that be? And yeah, I like the fashions. I like the the sense of humour in, in the culture, and yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. So 1969 for me. Um, what would your if you had to live in a year and it was just over and over? What what year would you you would do you live in? Um, so. With it being this way, um, you know, I just thought, is there anything that you would like to ask me? Um, anything you'd like to know? Um, anything you'd like me to talk about or anything? Instead of me just talking to the camera, is there anything that, you know, you think, oh, yeah, I wonder if she'd um, touch on that topic or answer that question or whatever. That was the idea to see how, you know, because... I think it's nice, but it's like, it's good to, I was six in 1969. <laughs> Blimey. How did you find it? How did you find it? Um, yeah. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, so in the comments of the community thing thread I did, um, it seems that most people like the vlogs. They, oh gosh, what's it doing to me? <laughs> Free more than kids now, yeah. Poor bug, poor, poor, poor bug people, poor darlings. Um, it seems to be going on and off on me on the on the internet. <laughs> well. No idea of the year, but I do love the 60s and the 70s. My favourite programme is A Good Life. Yes, absolutely. Tom and Barbara, yes. I love The Good Life as well. I was actually watching, I've moved on from watching Bewitched, the TV series. I've moved on to watching Dixon of Dot Green. And I've been watching the 1956 TV series of that. And it's on YouTube. And um, it was a British... TV show and it lasted I think for over 20 years and it starred Jack Warner of the Warner Brothers I do believe. Jack Warner was the youngest of the brothers and there were four brothers all together and the eldest one he used to go around the studio lot picking up used screws and things you know because he was all about saving the pennies because you've got to remember they may have been you know rich and powerful towards the end but I imagine they came from nothing and um, so he always had that frugality in him but Jack Warner was the youngest brother and he went into being an actor and I think he starred in Dixon of Doc Green for I mean 20 odd years Ugh. tap to retry are we still on who knows um, <laughs> yeah, so I've been watching that, the 1956 black and white Dixon and Dot Green on YouTube, and it's been lovely. I love all creatures, great and small, Midsummer Murders, Father Brown, yeah, Brick Comps, yeah, they are, they are, I really enjoy them, I, I enjoy that sense of humour that, um, the un-PC world of today just doesn't really understand it doesn't really get it but yeah so all good um yeah so i've been watching that and yeah i've completely lost the trail of thought but you know yeah so anyway so yeah no it has been um i love all of those two making a note of all the ones mentioned to watch yeah some others do have them frank spencer oh witty <laughs> yeah yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, good life. So, yes, in this episode called The Rotten Apple, he, he was, it's very strange seeing him young. I mean, he hasn't, you know, there's no change. It's just, you know, you get older. But, yeah, he he's um, Jerry from Margot and Jerry, The Good Life. Yeah, Paul Eddington, he was the, he was the rotten in this Dixon of Doc Green. So I seen Michael Crawford sing live and how was he? Was he, did he do a, what was he like? Did he do a comedic tone or? Did he have a good voice? Cause I, over the Christmas we had Martin Lewis do the Christmas singing and he's actually got a good voice as well, hasn't he? That surprised me, you know, he can, Mark Lewis, the um, budgeting man. Yeah. Yeah, so vlogs and stuff. Um, most people seem to like them. So I will do more and I will crack on with that. Oh, Katrina Shaw. That was, oh gosh, Katrina, I'm seeing A and E in a sentence. That can't be good. Oh dear. Concert, Phantom of the Opera. He was the original Phantom. Frank Spencer. Wow. Oh, gosh. So sorry. I've been looking forward to this, but I'm just on my way home from A&E. Fell and sprained my wrist at half. So I'm absolutely shattered. Hope everyone's having a good time. Oh, Katrina, oh, hugs, darling, get yourself a brew, and oh my gosh, what a day. Yeah, absolutely, thank, yeah. 
quick recovery. Oh, Katrina. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, love. Why'd you go and do that? <laughs> it's not what you need in life. Um, calm down. Chill. Cup of tea. Someone is there to take good care of you. But yeah, so I will do more vlogs. Um, I feel like I set up the channel to do like recipe videos and do ration info and it's kind of gone thank you so much everyone it's going to be a quick cover and bed absolutely Katrina get yourself a brew get to bed wake up tomorrow it's a new day <laughs> um yeah so I just thought well you know but I always think to myself am I going off tangent and stuff or it's you know it's not good enough or anything like that so but if you'd like to see more vlogs, I can do more vlogs. You know, it's just, I didn't want it to just become too of a vloggy channel, if that makes sense. So once this is all sorted though, it'll, oh. but I've been struggling um, with just feeling tired a lot, just very tired. So, you know, but we get there. We crack on, don't we, dears? We crack on. Let's have a, let's have a sip. Yeah, but other than that, I mean, I've got quite a few um, few works in progress on the go. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. I'm still aiming to have a stall and stuff for the autumn, winter season. You know, mittens, gloves scarves hats that sort of thing so i keep i've got those little works in progress on the go alongside the bigger stuff um i have started filming a new video about a, a capsule wardrobe because i've got so many patterns are you if you're anything like me you've got so many clothes and yet nothing to wear nothing really to you know put together so i thought what i'd do is i would put all of my vintage see where the gaps are and see what knitting patterns i have actual wardrobe hello everyone mr do do boy and susie hello everyone um yeah, so I thought I'd make a capsule wardrobe. So I thought that might be quite cool to do. But yeah. T, 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 T. I thought if we made it sort of like a, if we enjoy doing this chaps, I might make this sort of a regular thing. The last Saturday of the month, we'll just sort of have a, have a chin wag. I don't know if this is going to be much of any good, but uh, you know, I love comfort videos like vlogs or crafts and food. Yep, I'm absolutely with you in loads of clothes, but can't seem to figure out what to do with them. Exactly, exactly. It's, it's you know, and also, I mean, I remember I did a inventory inventory i had a look and i did i did put outfits together but again three years on my body's changed because you know our bodies change don't they and um stuff that was comfy to wear or was flattering to wear is not so comfy and flattering now so it's all you know about looking at what you've got to work with first and then fitting around that and you know if you've got a, a a skill or a craft that you enjoy to do such as sewing knitting crocheting anything that you can create a a fabric garment to throw on your body then you know that's a really good way of doing that you know so yeah um i love your videos they are comfort oh bless you um love a good knit and natter okay i have to do more of them and chat about life. The fuel video was really interesting. I'm a minimalist, so caps your wardrobe is right up my street. Definitely. I just think Mum says that you should have three of everything. You should have the dirty dirty from yesterday, 
what you're wearing today and clean for tomorrow. And anything beyond that is sort of, um, uh, options I guess I don't know but she says that's what you need is you need sort of three of everything and then you you know you can sustain on that so yeah I'm not quite sure if I could only do with three knickers but <laughs> do you oh yes agree on a knit and natter too yes right yes I will do more knit and natters yes do you like to read any world war ii books fiction or factual I'm reading John Seymour's Fat of the Land, which is self-sufficient, but I really love those books. Yep, self-sufficiency books, yep. Um, yes, making do with enough, but not stuff you don't use. Yeah, exactly. Um, I do enjoy um, reading old books. I don't read as much as I would probably like to. I think an awful lot of us can say that. But yeah, I'm still working on The Spitfire Sweetheart. Um, and that is a really good book. I've thoroughly enjoyed reading her. When I was a child, I really enjoyed Enid Blyton. Um, she was one of my favourites. And now I really enjoy Kathy Bramley. Um, Kathy Bramley books are great. She's a really good writer. Child from back in the day. Yeah, I, I like his wit. Trust the gay to have a good sense of humour. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and just a lot of sort of books and things like that. So, yeah. Um, hmm. Yes, yes. Any Anything else, anybody? <laughs> Give me something to talk about. Um, there probably was something else I wanted to mention, but I can't think of it right now. Yeah. <sighs> One of the energy saving tips from the book was to use an old sheet, like um, metal, sheet put that over one hob and it'll actually serve as sort of two items and that does work I've been, I've been trying that yeah so that does work but um yeah so i think i'm off the fly um heads not connecting an awful lot of stuff together so i think i might sort of say okay we'll probably give it five more minutes just finish this brew and then call it a day so is there anything else anyone would like to know or like me to talk about. Um, yeah. Would you just like to mention anything? Say a hi. <laughs> um, we're chatting together. Camera. So there's a nice, I'm waffling a camera at you guys. would you recommend any favorite cakes or biscuits now someone did mention about trying to make a wacky cake and i think i forget whether it's come from canada america australia but a wacky cake is a i think it's a fatless eggless chocolate cake I don't even know whether it's sugarless, but yeah, if you Google wacky, W-A-C-K-Y, a wacky cake, someone recommended um, making that. Um, what is going in for a fall garden? I have got, um, I've got my sprouts, I've got, it's a lot of greens really, but it's sprouts, um, chard, kale, so that'll get you through a lot. You could start doing your cabbages and stuff now to try and get you through maybe your purple sprouting broccoli. I've got a little bit of that out there as well. 
Um, if I'd had more space, if the garden had been a lot better tended, you know, it's it's gone to rack and ruin because it's had two and a half years worth of neglect. So it's it's what I call a beau dessert. It's a wild beautifulness or something or other. But beautiful wilderness, that's what it's called. Um, yeah, I, I had grown pumpkins and squash and things like that. I have got the plants, it's just that there's no space to put them in. And now, um, instead, whenever I free up a bit of space, it's for mummy's, mummy's plants. So, but yeah, it's mostly greens for overwintering just because they gas food when they put it into plastic bags and stuff they gas it and they wash it in chlorine they gas it so you just think oh dear I don't really you know and when you've picked fresh leaves that go straight into the pot and into the tummy oh it's so nice so nice it, it it's definitely not like the ones in the shops um I've never heard of a wacky cake I'll look that up though very intrigued absolutely yeah definitely vinegar cake is good okay is in the We'll Eat Again book. I think I have that. Doesn't taste of vinegar. Okay. Oh, all right. I'll give that a, I'll give that a, yeah, I'll have a look at that. My partner and I have just moved. I was going to say, Michelle, you're, you're Leicester way, aren't you? Into a 1930s semi in Leicester. Lots of original features. That's what we like. Um, we found a dolly tub in the garden today. Wow. Oh, oh look at you hi Sarah how are you my dear um I've heard it called depression cake as well I think the recipe is from America I think it came from America yeah I think it was it was yeah someone suggested it and yeah the, yeah America and um yeah I just thought that's what an intriguing idea um all oh, that sounds lovely Michelle great to find things like that it is I found when I moved in because it was so overgrown pretty much as it is um I found a bath, bath down there <laughs> you know uh will you be restoring it Michelle will you we all want to know <laughs> Yes, we are getting started relocating, etc. Yeah, very good, very good. Um, well, welcome to Leicestershire, my dear. I don't know whether you've come from Leicestershire or you know whatever, but welcome to Leicester. Hope you enjoy your. Hope you enjoy it with us. Um, yeah. So, I think we we spoke about the farm shop, didn't we? So the farm shop where I'm at is just outside of Loughborough, and we sell. Born and bred. Oh, <laughs> same here. Um, Leicester Royal baby. Um, yeah, the farm shop is just outside of Loughborough and it sells the raw milk and it's called Charmwood Forest Farm Shop. So if you're in the vicinity, if you're Loughborough way at all, you know, and you're swinging by every weekend, I, I'll, I'll usually be there. anyway so was there anything anyone would like to say before we call it a day and we go off and have our lovely cups of tea and settle in for the evening or the afternoon wherever you are public library for eight years oh well there you are you know the area well good night everyone sorry my battery about to die i hope you have a good weekend Hi Robin, yeah, I think we're all about to call it a day, but would anybody else like to say anything? I think maybe for next month, next next time I'll um try and get something a bit more aesthetically pleasing set up and a bit more Oh, I've got to try and put eat some brain power food and then I'll be really cognitive for you. But yeah, I thought while we've got lovely sunshine, I'll, well, evening sunshine, I'll 
use it. But yes. All right, my loves. Well, I think I'll call that a night. And thank you so much for joining me. And um, I'm so thrilled that it's all worked for us. And um, yeah, whatever you're getting on with. Bye, Jojo. Bye, Seal. Bye, Michelle. Bye, Nancy. Enjoy your evening, my lovelies. And I'll speak to you again soon. Take care. Bye. Now, how do I turn this off?